Well, the history of Treehouse Brewing started uh, way back when and where. We uh, started home brewing with Nate, uh, our head brewer and, and co-owner. Um, and uh, from home brewing in his kitchen, we moved over to Brimfield, had a, had a great stint in Brimfield, uh, brewing and selling our beer to the masses and actually got bigger than we had expected, faster than we expected. So here we are at Corn Farm. After a little while brewing together when the move to Brimfield happened, when we were still just home brewing, having fun, um, people really started to like the beer that was coming out of uh, our home brew. <laughs> so we decided to go a little bit, a little bit bigger and bought our first small system and uh, got licensed in mass. We had all kinds of different names on the, t on the table and we were kicking a lot of different things around. Um, and he's got a big, beautiful tree house on the property in the tree. And it had to be when we turned and looked and said, it just has to be tree house. And then from there, we, we started working on a logo and it, it just, it works, you know, we, we love our logo and it's very recognizable, so it really works for us. One, one of the main things that makes our beer, as well as craft beer in general, the way the wave is happening right now is a freshness. Um, people are able to get craft beer a lot more fresh than you're getting, you know, the brands that you would normally see on the shelves and take off the shelves. But um, one of the great things about our beer, I believe, is Nate. Our head brewer, I, I, Damien and I, co-owners, co partners in this business, we still can't figure out exactly what it is um, Willy Wonka does in that brewery to make our beer so much better than everybody else, such in high demand. But we can never keep up with, with the demand that we're having right now. So in, in turn, what's happening is we have an expansion going on right now. Um, as we speak, we're, we have land cleared and we're just waiting for all the appropriate permits to put a building up and get rocking and rolling on that. Um, hops take about three years to mature to be able to be used. Um, so we have hops growing in the greenhouse right now and they're, they're ready to be planted. We just haven't had the spot to plant them yet. Um, we'll be having up here at the farm, there's plenty of room for us to do a lot of great things. We're, we're planning on some fruit trees, some nut trees. We're planting on um, different crops to grow to use in our beer. So it usually ends up being three, sometimes four beer will be on on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, it all depends on, on basically the quantity that we had sold the week prior, which at this point, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is one retail cycle. We're selling out of nine tenths of, of every batch that we put on in that retail cycle. So the next week, there's a completely fresh batch of beer going on. So this week it's a fresh batch of Haze, which is a double IPA, a brand new double IPA that we just released. Um, that's what she said, which is our milk stout. And we also have Tornado, which is our APA, which we had um, named about the tornado that we had in this area. I've been working here since actually the day, the first, working in Munson since the first day that the guys moved up here back in December. Um, Nathan and Johnny and Dean and Damien all started brewing in Nathan's kitchen um, and I was really happy to be there on that first day. Um, I was also there in Brimfield with them helping out. Um, taking lots of pictures, writing down every little step that they made, making brew notes. Um, now, we all, now we do that all on the computer, um, but that's okay too. Um, I work here every Thursday, Friday, and all day Saturday, although I wouldn't call it work because it's fun. Um, I enjoy pouring the beers, making the tags, and doing all the other paperwork. A lot of behind the scenes stuff at home. Um, which I wouldn't change for the world. <laughs> it still uh, boggles our mind when we see people with license plates from California and uh, Florida and North Carolina, South Carolina, Maine, coming all the way here for Treehouse. And it's such an honor. And like I said, it still kind of boggles our mind a little bit, um, but it's such a treat. Before Treehouse opened, Nathan and I would be the ones traveling to different breweries. Basically, I, what I do here is I stand behind these beautiful 
shiny taps all day long. Uh, Thursday nights, Friday nights, and Saturdays. And uh, pour the beer in growlers for our very generous, um, patient customers. The treehouse was very fortunate enough to move up to Munson from Damien and Kim's house back in Brimfield um, this past December. Um, we couldn't have asked for better people to take us under their wings, especially on this property, this gorgeous property. I'm the first one to pour a <laughs> Um, at the end of every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, they're all well-deserved for each and every one of us. These are, this is the hardest group of uh, working guys that I've ever worked with, and it's an honor to work with them. Um, it's, it's actually nice living with a brewer, too, because every now and then he'll bring home uh, something special, either out of the bright or something that hasn't been released yet. So that's also a very nice treat. favorite thing to do is get together with buddies and brew beer. Uh, my favorite drink is Diet Coke with Lime. I don't know if you can say that on TV. Uh, but uh, I'm getting better at tasting all this fun stuff that Nate's creating. Uh, and uh, we play guitar all the time. It's just a bunch of friends hanging out. As a non-beer drinker, I had no idea that this world existed. When we were starting this business three years ago, Nate tried to convince me that we would sell all of the beer by people coming and filling growlers of beer and then leaving. They said they would travel all over the place and come in and I said, you're crazy. We're gonna send all of our beer out to restaurants and that's how we're gonna sell our beer. He kept convincing me that I was crazy, that we're gonna sell 100% of it out of here. And every single week that goes by to this day for three years, I look at Nate on that Saturday when there's 200 people outside and I say, I can't believe that this is happening. It's mind blowing. Yeah, I'm a full-time substitute for my wife. Uh, my wife and Lauren were the original poor girls. So uh, when little Tessa came along, our daughter, uh, it was time for me to step in and, and take care of some of the responsibilities and help Lauren out. She's the head poor girl. She takes care of all the cards, organizes everything, yells at me to get kegs, tap this, do that. And uh, I just say yes, of course, and, and get it done. But it's super fun, I love the job, I love interacting with the people. Uh, it's a blast. These tags let people know uh, what's in the beer, what the alcohol content of the beer is, and when it was poured. So sometimes people will go to parties, they'll have growlers from other places, they'll put them all on the table, and people will be able to read, oh, this one was just filled last week from Treehouse, this is Tornado Pale Ale, they'll know the alcohol content. It's also almost a status. Uh, Lauren made one for Nate for Christmas out of a shadow box. So she took all the tags that we ever did and put them in a little shadow box. It's, uh, it's fun and it's kind of what we're known for. It's on our logo, it's on our t-shirts. It's uh, something that we'll do forever. Yeah, we tried to stay true. Uh, we started it in a barn and we'll stay true to that for as long as we own this business. Uh, this, of course, as you see, is a temporary location. You know we're building across the street, and even when we're in that new location, we're gonna try to keep the same feel. Uh, it's a treehouse feel, it's super non-pretentious, it's uh, everyone's family, we know everyone by name, they all know all of us by name, uh, and that's how we wanna keep it. We sell our beer in either 750 milliliter uh, flip top bottles or two liter uh, cap top growlers. And that growler is actually yours. You purchase it here at the brewery and then you go home, finish your beer and wash it out, bring it back and you don't have to buy another bottle. We'll fill your bottle up. We do have six tap accounts around, six or seven tap accounts around the area. In Sturbridge at um, Cedar Street Grill, you can also find us in Worcester at Armsby Abbey and the Dive Bar. Uh, McLadden's Irish Public House in Hamden. McLadden's Irish Public House in Northampton. Um, we're on tap 
sometimes at ABC, Amherst Brewing Company, um, and the Blind Pig out in Athol. Um, the expansion across the street will, will have um, six times the brewing capacity that we have now. We'll also have a canning line. So there's, there's a lot of things that are, that's gonna make our beer a lot easier and readily available, but available here. We'll be sending out quite a bit more kegs at our tap, tap accounts, but you'll be able to come on canning day and pick up your cases of, of whatever beer it is that, that we would be canning that day. Also in the future, you know, the land that we've cleared over there is going to be more of a destination. You'll be able to come and sit on a bench, not necessarily drink, but you'll be able to have a picnic and, and do all kinds of neat things. The community has been outstanding here. Um, I, I think I said in the last time that we spoke that if there's 6,000 or 5,000 people in, in, in Munson, I believe that 5,500 have been here um, to say hi and they all come in and, and whether they drink beer or not, they all come in and say hi and, and see what's going on. And there's a overwhelming support. It's been, it's been really nice. And we can't wait to help support the town as well.